What a rainy day for detective work. Oh, hello you. Didn't see you there. Maybe you can help me out. I noticed that all these compounds here, they all share something in common. Oh wait, you can't see it yet. There, much better. Do you see a pattern here? That's right, they all start with the letter H. Which element is that? Right, it's hydrogen. What other pattern do you see? Ah, yeah, that's right. They all end in AQ. I wonder what that means. In general, all of these chemical compounds are classified as acids. All acids must contain hydrogen as its cation, followed by one or more nonmetals in its anion. Also, all these compounds must be dissolved in water, too. That's why you see the letters AQ in the formula, written in subscript. AQ means aqueous, or dissolved in water. But first, let's start off with a simpler acid, the binary acid, where binary means two. The first atom has to be hydrogen, and the second atom, a nonmetal. This compound must also be dissolved in water to become an acid. The nomenclature for binary acids always starts with hydro, followed by the root of the nonmetal, and ends with ic acid. Let's practice through a few examples right now. Here, we have hydrogen bonded with chlorine, but not dissolved in water. So this is just hydrogen chloride. The second formula looks very similar to the first formula, but this one is dissolved in water. Remember, whenever a compound containing hydrogen as its cation is dissolved in water, it turns into an acid. So this chemical compound is called hydrochloric acid, the same type of acid found in your stomach. This third formula also starts with hydrogen and ends with AQ, so it too is an acid. Can you name this third one? Good, hydrosulfuric acid. One more example. Let's try this one out. We notice this one still follows the same pattern as the other two examples, but hold on. H2O is just plain water. So this formula is nothing more than just plain water dissolved in water. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, let's go the other way around and write the corresponding formula for the following acids. All acids contain hydrogen, so we start with hydrogen as the cation and fluoric must be for the nonmetal fluorine. Looking up on a periodic table, hydrogen has a charge of plus one and fluorine has a charge of minus one. If we write just HF as our final answer, this is hydrogen fluoride. If we want this to become acidic, we must also dissolve it in water, so we have to include AQ in subscript. Next example. All acids contain hydrogen as its cation and selenic must be for the element selenium. Selenium has a charge of, good, minus two. When we cross over the charges, we end up with H2SE, and we finish off with AQ to indicate that this compound has to be dissolved in water. How about you try out the third example on your own? Ready for the answer? Nitrogen has a charge of minus three, so after the crossover, we end up with H3N, AQ. Let's take a look at the worksheet. Please pause the video and highlight only the compounds that are binary acids and write down the corresponding formula or nomenclature. You may pause the video right now. Ready for the answers? Pause the video again and compare your answers with the answer key. Did you get them all right? Good job. All right, let's talk about the other type of acid. As the name implies, Oxyacids are acids that contain oxygen. The first two rules still apply. The compound must contain hydrogen as a cation, and the compound must be dissolved into water. Let's go through a few examples. Hydrogen has a charge of plus one, and phosphate is a polyatomic ion that contains oxygen. Phosphate has a charge of minus three. If you just do the crossover rule, your answer is H3PO4 which is hydrogen phosphate. But if it gets soaked in water, the compound now becomes phosphoric acid. Notice that there is no hydro in the name. On the other hand, this compound is hydrophosphoric acid. I know this is rather confusing. Why does the smaller compound get the longer name? The answer is history. Oxyacids were discovered first. 
and binary acids, they were discovered almost a decade later, forcing a new naming system for binary acids, which unfortunately was also a longer name. Here's a good memory aid to remember which naming system to use. Hydro, no O. If you see hydro in the name, there is no oxygen in the acid, like hydrochloric acid. Chloric acid, on the other hand, does contain oxygen. Here's another memory aid. I ate something icky for lunch. This memory aid is a reminder that if the polyatomic ion ends in 8, then change it to ic acid. And yes, there is a second line to this memory aid. And I ate something ousy for dinner. But we'll save that for another day. Let's practice through a few more examples. Hydrogen plus sulfur. Hydrogen has a charge of plus 1 and sulfur minus 2. H2S is hydrogen sulfide, and H2SAQ is hydrosulfuric acid. Hydrogen plus sulfate. Hydrogen has a charge of plus 1, and sulfate has a charge of minus 2. Again, with only the crossover rule, you get hydrogen sulfate. However, if it gets wet in the rain, it becomes sulfuric acid. A common mistake that many students make is that when they just see the name sulfuric acid, without the hydro, they think it's just SO4AQ. Unfortunately, that's not correct. Remember, all acids must contain hydrogen. Okay, let's convert the other way around. Let's determine the formula for carbonic acid. Since this name is missing hydro, it must be an oxy acid, so it's hydrogen plus carbonate. Hydrogen has a charge of plus one, and with carbonate, have you memorized it yet? minus 2. Cross over, reduce the ratio if necessary, and finish off with AQ, and you got yourself carbonic acid, the acid found in all carbonated drinks. Let's decipher another one. I'll give you a moment to think about this one. I'll give you a hint, it's not an acid. Remember, all acids must start off with hydrogen. So this chemical compound is just salt water, the stuff that you gargle with when you have a sore throat. As usual, make sure you finish off the worksheet and check your answers with the answer key, marking down any mistakes that you might have made. Have fun!